Large aquariums can be expensive. One of the most common sizes for larger tanks is a 75 gallon. I recently did research on the best options for setting up one on a budget. So in this video, I will share with you three options for setting up a 75 gallon while trying to save. Hi, it's Connor. Welcome to or back to my channel. Earlier this year, I started creating comparison videos looking at the best options for building different sizes of aquariums on a budget. I originally made the first one when I was shopping for a 55 gallon for myself and found it both enjoyable and also useful to others. So I wanted to continue the series today as I'm going to go through all the common tank sizes and I currently have videos on 10 gallon, 20 gallon, 29 gallon and 55 gallon tanks. So today we'll be going through a 75 gallon comparison. So now what we're going to be looking at for each setup is obviously the tank, a 75 gallon tank, and then the filter, heater, light, and stand. And so these are all the main components to get a tank up and running. Now the first setup is what I'm calling the minimal Aquion setup. And so this is a common setup in all the videos I've done. And the reason is, is the Aquion standard tanks tend to be the cheapest tanks available. And then if you can get them on a sale, uh, for example, from Petco, they have a dollar per gallon sale, you can save a lot of money on the tanks. And this is also a great option if you have some equipment already for the tank size, you can get the other pieces for the cheapest and you don't need to buy everything. And so first we're going to go on the tank here. And what we're going to go with is the Aquion Standard 75 gallon. And now at full price, this is $250 right now. Although if you wait for sales, you can probably get it cheaper. The best sale that I know of is the dollar per gallon sale from Petco that they do a couple times a year. Now, unfortunately, it isn't the dollar per gallon sale anymore, although they usually still call it that. For 75 gallon, they're only gonna do half off, which is still a very good deal. And so you could get this tank for as low as $125. I would also recommend looking at local fish stores because some of them will have better sales than $250. So often you can get a sale if you strip around or you wait for the Petco dollar per gallon sale. Now for the light, the one I'm going to go with is by a brand called Aquanite. It's the Aquanite LED full spectrum light. This is only $38 and you want to get the one that's 48 inches to 54 inches. This is a light you can just get on Amazon and for the price it's very good. It has very good reviews and I actually am using this exact light on my 40 gallon aquarium. Uh, I got it a few months ago and so far I'm very happy with it. It's a very simple light, only has an on and off, but it's done great for the plants I've kept in the tank. It looks very bright, the tank looks beautiful, the fish look beautiful, and so the price, you can't really beat it. Obviously, you can get better lights for a little bit more money that have more features, but if you just want a simple light that's gonna look good, this is gonna be your best option, uh, and I'm personally happy with it. Next, for the filter, we're gonna go with the Marine Penguin Bio Wheel 350. And in all these comparison videos, this brand of filter, the Marine Land Bio Wheel filters, has been the one that has one out for most tanks. And it tends to be the cheapest, slightly compared to the other options, but it's always very highly rated. And because it does beat the other options by a little bit in the cost, um, it's the one uh, I'm personally going to go with for this to save as much money as possible while getting a, uh, a good product. And right now, this filter is going for right around $50. I've seen it as low as $49, as high as $52 over the few days I've been researching, but you can estimate right around $50. Next for the heater. We're going to go with the high top 300 watt and this is $18 right now. Now you can argue how many watts you're going to want for 75 gallon. Most sources will recommend a 300 watt heater. Depending on the temperature in your house, you could go a little lower or you could definitely go higher to like a 400, 500 watt and be safer or even do two heaters. But in general, I think a 300 watt is going to be safe for most situations. So we're going to go with the high top one. It's a very highly rated heater. Uh, I personally haven't used it, but um, it looks like all pretty much good things to say about it. Um, very cheap, $18 for 300 watts, very good. And that's just kind of what I would go with. If you do want another option, I personally have been using Ordlushy heaters for a while, and I've literally never had any problems with them over the last three years. So they're another brand I'd recommend. For their 300 watts, it's going to be about $25, so slightly more expensive. Now for stand, there is a few options here. For the cheapest overall, the one I found is by a brand called Titan Easy. So it's a 75 gallon metal stand and right now it's about $150. What I'll note about this is it's all metal so it should be very really sturdy. 
but I don't really like the look of it personally, so it depends. If you don't mind the look, it's a very cheap option for a 75 gallon stand, but you gotta uh, keep that in mind. And there are some other ones I'm gonna go over right after this, where if you get it on sale, you get it for about the same price, but if there's no sales going on, this is gonna definitely win out. Uh, also a note that's kind of cool about this one is it says it's a double aquarium stand, so you can actually put two tanks on it if you want. So that's something you wanna do if you're a fish room or something. Uh, it could be a very um, inexpensive way to stack multiple tanks on top of each other. The next stand we're gonna look at is one from the brand Topfin, and so these are stands sold at PetSmart. And so there's a few different color options. Not on sale, they're $280, so pretty expensive. I really actually, I don't know if I'd get it for that much money, but if you do get it on sale, right now it's actually for $140, so half off, so that's pretty good. And I'll say if you look around major holidays in the US, there's a good chance you can find it on sale as well. And overall, I think it looks really good, pretty modern. I really like that there's several color options. I actually am using the smaller version of this exact stand for my 40 gallon and been using it for about a year, held up fine, been great. The one thing I'll notice is it does have a pretty nice finish on it, but it is particle board. So you do need to be very careful to not get it wet because over time, if you get it too wet, it will buckle. So that is one thing to keep in mind. And then I'll just note here that there are a few other stands in the $250 to $280 range. If you don't like the other ones to look, there's one by Aquatic Fundamentals and one by Archie. So they are other options, although not too cheap. And now that's all the items in this setup. So we're looking at a total cost of anywhere between $375 to $600. The $375 is to get everything on sale. You get the Petco dollar per gallon sale for the tank and you get a stand on sale as well. And $600 is you buy everything at full price. Now, I'll say if you can wait for the sale, obviously it's a big win. So you can be patient and wait for sales and get the items that you need. You can save a lot of money. I'd say $375 for a 75 gallon setup of all stuff that's brand new is really good in my opinion. Now, before we go on to the next 75 gallon setup, I wanted to ask for a favor. If you're enjoying the video and finding it useful, please give it a like. And if you're new to my channel, subscriptions are very appreciated. I upload videos like this, also reviewing products, talking about species I keep, and sharing other aquarium adventures. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So the next setup is a Marine Land kit. So this is a kit that comes with the tank, the light, a lid to the aquarium, and a stand. Now, there's not many kits for 75 gallon tanks. Once you get the sizes this big, it becomes very limited the kits you can get. So this is one of the few ones and overall it's pretty well reviewed. I actually have had the 45 gallon kit from Marine Land with no issues, had that for about a year and a half, no issues, and I was very happy with it. I will say though that this kit has unfortunately seen an increase in price. If you go back about two years ago, it was only $500. Then a year ago, about $550, and now it's $600. So yeah, anyway, getting on to the actual what's in it, uh, the first thing we're gonna talk about is the actual tank, the actual 75 gallon glass aquarium. And so the cost of this, looking at the whole kit, is going to be $600 not on sale. If you do get it on sale, I'd say it's likely between $350 to $450. $450 is probably the more common sale price. And then if you go for a major holiday like Black Friday here in the US, I definitely think you can get it as low as $350. Previously, I've seen it as low as $250, but that was when the total cost at full price was $500. So I would guess $350 is probably the cheapest you're gonna see it now. But going on for the light, that's gonna be in kit. I actually really like the light in this tank because it's clip on and clips to the rim and so you actually can't see it at all. You can't see it above it. So it really gives the whole kit a kind of modern look. Mine did five and a 45 gallon for low tech plants and the tank looked pretty bright and I was overall very happy with the light. Now for the filter, we're gonna go with the same as in the first kit, the Marine Land Penguin. The heater as well, same as in the first kit. So we're gonna go with the high top 300 watt. And then now stand. Now this comes with the Marine Land kit. And so it's a gray stand. Uh, it looks like it has plenty of storage space. I actually really, really like the look. It used to have just be a black stand. A few years ago, they upgraded it. And I think it looks very modern. And I actually really like it. I actually have thought about getting this kit just because I really like the stand. And uh, for 
a tank that has black rims on it. I think a gray stand actually looks really nice and gives it a modern look without getting like a nice fancy rimless aquarium. Uh, so overall, I actually really like that. I'd say it's actually a motivation for me maybe wanting to get this kit in the future. But anyway, that's everything that'll be a part of the setup. So for total cost, if you get everything on sale for the best sale, that's $350 for the whole kit. Um, the total cost, including the filter and heater with that, will be $420. And if you get everything at full price, it'll be $680. So again, waiting for sales saves you a lot of money. And overall, you can get the Aquion set up for cheaper, but this does have the benefit of everything's, most of it's included in one set. And I really like the look of the stand. And, you know, it is more convenient to just get everything, almost everything in one go and then have to get a few other pieces. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. Now, the third and last setup we're going to look at is what I'm going to call stylish. So this is looking at the best value for a modern look. And by modern look, I mean like a rimless aquarium, one that looks better than the typical black rimmed aquarium. So really rimless aquariums are really good what we're going to be going for here. And now I'll note that rimless aquariums at this size get very, very, very expensive. And I did look at a few of the common brands uh, to compare, and there really was only one option price-wise, and that was by the UNS brand. The other common brands for rimless aquariums I usually look at are Waterbox, Landon, Current USA is a 65 gallon that I actually have, but all those for this size aquarium were all significantly more. So it really wasn't competitive. So the tank I would go for is gonna be the UNS 90U. And so it's not actually 75 gallons, but it's 68 gallons. So it's pretty close. So I'm gonna count that um, in this category. And for the tank, it's $700. For the other pieces of equipment, that being the light filter and heater, we're all gonna use the same as the first setup. So that's gonna be the Aqua Neat Light, the Marine Land filter, and the high top heater. And then the last thing you would need to get is a stand. And so you're really gonna wanna get probably the stand just for the UNS Aquarium. One, it's gonna look very nice, and two, it's not a standard size. So that's gonna be $615. And you could probably fit other stands for this tank, but um, that's probably gonna be my recommendation. But uh, you could get creative if you wanted to save some money. Now the total cost for this setup is gonna be $1,385. And I don't know that this stuff ever goes on sale. You might be able to get some sales every once in a while, but I wouldn't say they're super common. So we're just gonna look at the full price here. And I'd say for a rimless tank this large, that's a very good price, um, including all the equipment as well. Now, it is very expensive. Obviously, you're gonna save a lot of money if you go for one of the other options, but if you do want something looking very nice, um, I think that is a very good price. I personally paid 1800 for my 65 gallon current USA kit. Now, that's the three kits that I want to show you. So now the question is, which setup would I personally go with? Now, the first note is it definitely depends on sales and how much of a rush you are in to get the tank set up. If you can be patient and wait for good sales, then definitely the minimal Acreon is the best in price. And so I really like that. If you're going to try to save as much money as possible, just wait till you get sales on everything, especially the Petco dollar per gallon sale, and then go with the minimal Acreon and you can get a whole 75 gallon setup of new stuff for under $400. Now, I personally do really like the Marine Land stand, so if that was on sale for a good price, like $350 for the whole kit, uh, I'd be plenty happy to go with that as well. So just keep that in mind. But that does wrap up the breakdown of the cheapest 75 gallon aquariums in 2022. I'm curious if there are any other better deals out there that I didn't see for 75 gallon tanks. So if you find those, definitely let me know. And this series is getting to the end. I have almost all the common sizes covered. The last one to do is 125 gallons, which should probably be out in another month or two. But anyway, to close out, if you did find this video helpful, please give it a like so others can find it more easily. And subscriptions to my channel are always appreciated. And anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll catch everyone next time.